when we take a look at flying cars, we can look at sort of a back to the future thing. But in reality, this fe this feature looks at one small company that's doing something between uh, a drone and a small plane. Walk us through the, the actual reality that we could see. That's for Benedict. Benedict, yeah. Oh, this is for me, sorry. Well, the actual technology, I mean, that's not quite clear how, how that'll go. We had an interview in Davos, by the way, with the Uber CEO, and he said, you know, uh, driverless uh, flying cars will be here in a couple of years. It'll be smaller vehicles. The technology exists, he said. Uh, these are a bunch of rotors that will be attached to it. But I agree with you. It all sounds a little bit sort of back to the future when we thought we'd be on hoverboards around about now, and that didn't quite happen. Um, so, uh, you know, whether by the middle of next uh, decade we'll have these, we'll have these driving... Uh, these flying cars. Difficult to say. If I were a betting man, I'd say probably not. The technology exists. We know about drones that are getting bigger and bigger and more powerful. Um, but the regulation uh, underneath all this is also another question, so we'll have to see. So, so Shira, how realistic is this? I must say, I come from the Jetsons generation, so, you know, come on. We flying all cars. love the Jetsons. <laughs> Jetsons. <laughs> Jetsons. <laughs> Jetsons. <laughs> but, 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 but now we're having Amazon saying they may be delivering stuff to our houses. Now, these would not be populated drones, but they'd be drones. And it, does the drone advancement in technology mean that maybe we really will have these in our lifetime? I don't know. I'm skeptical. Uh, I think some of these technologies are much harder than people are making them out to be, and that includes autonomous vehicles, let alone mm -hmm. flying cars. And also, look, the, the regular regulations are a really thorny issue. Um, we've seen that already with these kind of package delivery drones, which the U.S. has been very nervous about, other countries less so. And, you know, we're not talking about package delivery drones here. We're talking about cars that fly and that will carry occupants. So I think the regulators are going to be very interested in that. And I don't think we have a solution on either front, either the technology or the regulatory piece.